everyone, it's Miss Judy. Um, I wish we could all be here in person to meet together, but it's been great fun seeing you all this week on Zoom. And uh, tonight we're going to be doing an experiment, but before we start the experiment, I want to remind you a little of the Bible lesson we had today. Um, the story was uh, Peter and the rest of the disciples were out in the boat on the lake, and uh, Jesus was over on the shore, and he decided to come out to the boat, and he decided to walk on the water, which was an amazing thing to do. And Peter saw Jesus and said, Jesus, I'd like to do that too. And Jesus said, well, if you have faith, you can do it. And Peter did. He started walking on the water. Um, but the problem was, as he was walking on the water, all of a sudden he felt the wind come on in, and he looked down and he saw how deep the water was, and he lost his faith a little, and he started to sink. Now, of course, Jesus saved him, but the, the lesson of the story is that if we have faith, we can do amazing things if we believe in Jesus. And sometimes we have doubts, just like Peter had, but if our faith comes back, we can still do these amazing things. So tonight, we're going to do an experiment to kind of illustrate this story. And here's what you need. You need a bowl of water. You need some paper clips, either small, I don't know if you can see them small or large or a combination of both. Um, you need some dish detergent and you need a towel just in case you make some spills and mess up. And one thing you have to be very careful when you're doing this in front of the computer is that you don't get water on the computer. That would not be good. Okay, so the first thing, you can pause this for a minute now if you want to go collect those items and then come back. Okay. Um, first thing we're going to do is take a paper clip and see if it will float or sink in the water. It sounds like what we did on Monday, right? Will it float or sink? I'm going to put the paper clip in. Up, oh, it sunk. Let me try another one. Nope, went right to the bottom. Now maybe I can try just laying it on top and maybe, no, maybe, let me try another one. No, nope, it won't stay on top. You can try that yourself and see if you can get the paper clip to float on top of the water. Kind of like Peter. If he didn't have his faith in Jesus, he would have just sunk right to the bottom of the water, wouldn't he? But if we have Jesus, we can actually float or walk on the water. So what I want you to do is take a paper clip. Uh, the big ones work good, but if you don't have a big one, you can use a small one and bend it up like this. So it makes kind of an L shape and try to make it kind of flat like that. And that's Jesus, that's your faith. And if you take another paper clip and put it on top, try to balance it. Now sometimes this is not that easy to do, but take your time and do it. If you balance it on the paper clip and then just keep it nice and straight and lay it in the water and you're floating on the water. Peter's floating on the water, walking on the water. You can try that with as many paper clips as you want. See how many you can, maybe all the other disciples walked on the water too, hopefully. And I'll try another one. And this doesn't always work every time. So if it does, like that time I dropped it in. So if it doesn't work for you the first time, keep trying, nice and flat and straight. And there's another one floating on the water. And we'll do one more. You can do as many as you want. See how many you can get floating on the water. Maybe you can get all 12 disciples floating on the water. There we go. Okay, and I can even take this paper clip and sort of move them around and they still won't sink. It's kind of amazing to me. Now, the problem was, remember, Peter did have those doubts, and when he had those doubts, he did start to sink. So if you take your dish soap, okay, and put a drop of the dish soap right in here next to the paper clips, watch what happens. They all sunk when they had their doubts. So I hope that when you try this experiment at home or anything, you will remember the story of Peter and how, when he had faith in Jesus, he could do amazing things through his faith. 